Colleagues, today we will be checking the algorithm uh, for scenario of organophosphate poisoning to examination of OSC. So, previously to all of your manipulations, you need to wear gloves. Then, uh, you need to uh, call for help and after the examination of the task, you already may know the diagnosis. So, please, if you know the diagnosis, say, colleagues, we got organophosphate poisoning, so please help me, everybody. So. Next one, you will give the oxygen mask to the patient. You provide an oxygen with the oxygen mask. Then you check in for the conscious, for the breathing and for the circulation of the patient. Conscious, you check in by palpating the shoulder. Do you hear me and loudly speaking to the patient? How are you? Everything is fine? Then you perform a triple safar maneuver, extension of the neck. Then the tilting of the, of the jaw and opening the mouth and checking the movement of the chest and then also you're providing the checking of the circulation so please note that all uh, measurements that you got they are similar to the task they are not zeros so next thing you provide in the intravenous infusion intravenous e injection sorry with the bolus of the atropine so you give the atropine to the patient through the catheter. Please note if catheter already already placed, you're not placing the new one. You like just connecting the syringe to the port of the catheter and saying that you're giving uh, 0.1% solution so far a solution of atropine uh, in that dose uh, in dose one milligram every four or five minutes with the checking of the pupils and the uh, heart rate of the patient. So, you're giving it, not providing it physically. Then, please, uh, say that you will find the vial with the pralidoxime and give an intravenous injection of one gram of the pralidoxime, the special antidote, also through the same catheter port to not new one. Pralidoxine, one gram, uh, and checking the pupils, the heart rate, and the rails of the patient every minute till it's abolished. So then, once more, you check in the vital signs of the patient, uh, and you asking about the test of uh, adenylate activity. Uh, acetylcholine uh, esterase activity, sorry. And then checking once more the breathing of the patient and helping to the patient breathe. Then you check in the, check in the circulation, check in the conscious. After this, you're saying that you're giving the patient to the ICU unit and to the ICU for the further diagnostic and treatment. Thank you. Have a good, a good luck on the exam.